and calibrate the thickness gauge for measuring thickness of a pipe wall, first connect it to the PT878. The orientation of the thickness gauge connectors does not matter. Gently press the thickness gauge connectors into the transducer connection ports on the PT878. Press the menu button on the keypad. The main menu bar will appear at the top of the display screen. Press the right arrow key on the keypad to navigate over and highlight the service menu option. With the service menu highlighted, press the enter button on the keypad. This will bring up a drop down menu. Use the down arrow key on the keypad to scroll down and highlight the thickness gauge display and press the enter button on the keypad. Once the thickness gauge measure display appears, use the right arrow key to highlight the material tab and press the enter button on the keypad. Press the down arrow key on the keypad to highlight the material field and then press the enter button on the keypad. A new drop down menu appears with multiple material options. Use the up and down arrow keys on the keypad to highlight the material type you are using to calibrate your thickness gauge. The material type should be printed on your calibration test block. For this example, we are using a carbon steel test block. When you have your material highlighted and selected, press the enter button on the keypad. You will now be taken out of the material drop-down menu and back to the material tab. You will see the material you selected in the material field. In this case, it is carbon steel. Now press the up arrow on the keypad to go back up to highlight the material tab. Then use the left arrow key to navigate over and highlight the zero tab and press the enter button on the keypad. At the top of the zero tab, you will see two options for calibration, the single calibration option and the dual calibration option. The dual calibration option is recommended for calibrating the thickness gauge. Use the down arrow key to navigate down to the block one length. You will need to input the thickness of the first measurement you plan to take on your test block. For this example, we are going to use a thickness of 0.25 inches. If you need to change the value for the block 1 length, you would press the enter button and use the number keys on the keypad to change the value, then press enter to set the value. For the block 2 length, we will use 1 inch for the value. If you need to change that value according to the thickness on your test block, follow the same steps that were taken to change the block 1 length value. Once you have the block 1 length and block 2 length values set, use the up arrow key on the keypad to go back up to the block 1 length, then use the right arrow key on the keypad to highlight the calibration option. With the calibrate option highlighted, press the enter key on the keypad. On the bottom of the display screen, you will see a message that tells you to prepare block 1 and press enter. Apply couplant to the face of the thickness gauge transducer and firmly press the transducer to the 0.25 inch portion of the calibration test block. Do not apply too much pressure while pressing the thickness gauge to the test block. This will ensure a more accurate calibration. With the thickness gauge firmly pressed to the test block, press the enter button on the keypad to calibrate. Hold the thickness gauge steady and try not to move it while the calibration is being performed. After a few seconds, you will see that the calibration is accepted and the display at the bottom now requests you to prepare block two. You will also see that there is a calibrate selection field highlighted beside the block two length. Apply additional couplant to the face of the thickness gauge transducer and firmly press the transducer to the one inch portion of the calibration test block. Remember not to apply too much pressure while pressing the thickness gauge to the test block to ensure a more accurate calibration. With the thickness gauge firmly pressed to the one inch portion of the test block, press the enter button on the keypad when you are ready to calibrate. Hold the thickness gauge steady while the calibration is performed. When the calibration process for the block two length is accepted, you will see that there is a new selection highlighted called set. 
With the set function highlighted, press the enter button on the keypad. This will finalize the calibration of the thickness gauge. To verify the calibration, use the up arrow key on the keypad to navigate up to the zero tab at the top of the display. Then use the left arrow key to navigate over and highlight the display tab. With the display tab highlighted, press the enter button on the keypad. This will take you to the thickness gauge measurement display. Take the thickness gauge and firmly press it to the one inch portion of the calibration test block. Hold the gauge steady for a few seconds and you should get an approximate measurement of one inch. Next, move the thickness gauge to the 0.25 inch portion of the calibration test block. Press the thickness gauge firmly to the calibration test block and hold it steady for a few seconds. You should get an approximate reading of 0.25 inches. If your thickness measurements are not approximate to the thickness of the calibration test block, perform the calibration process again.